Um, I'm Cass, who, so I do admissions, and I also help TJ with career services, and I also do social media. <laughs> so I'm Dane. I graduated from Learning Fuse in November. I just got a full-time job started this Monday. Um, that's my intro. Should I do more? <laughs> so what have you been up to so far? How was your week? How was your first day, actually? It was good, yeah. So the onboarding process, it was everything's moving very slowly for the first mm -hmm. couple of days. Um, and we, the expectations were like kind of set in the very beginning as to like what I would be responsible for and like what the workflow would kind of be like and all that different stuff. So I wasn't too surprised coming in that it would be a relatively slow onboarding process. Mm. Um, okay. And it's gone super smoothly. Yeah. Very nice. So what's yeah. like a, a day in the life of look like? <laughs> A day in the life? Well, it's super laid back right now. Um, so the company that I'm working for has always been remote, actually. So their entire process has kind of been the same. So they haven't had to make any like major changes. Um, so it's pretty streamlined. So a day in the life, I wake up, roll out of bed. <laughs> uh, I have my long commute to my computer, which is like three seconds away. <laughs> and then I kind of get in touch with um, Jamie, who is like the, my supervisor, I guess. Um, and then based on like if we've had communication the day before, or like whatever it might be, I'll have tasks to go about. Um, yeah, it's super laid back and chill. I mean, I'm, I feel extremely grateful, you know, the job market is it's pretty um, tumultuous right now. So I think, you know, I'm really happy that I decided to go into this field because there's a lot more stability. Mm -hmm. so I think that's really cool how, um, because it's always been remote and then mm -hmm. it's like, this will be how, you know, your working life mm -hmm. will be for the time being, well, for however long you stay, right? So you don't have to like really worry about transition, like the transitions from mm -hmm. in person to remote and then back. Yeah. Right, so that's really neat. So what did you do before? Before Learning Fuse? Yeah. Well, I was actually a college graduate right out of, like I, I went into Learning Fuse right after I graduated college. I kind of realized like at the end of my college career that I like wasn't super passionate about my major and I started exploring computer science and programming and web development and stuff like that and then um, started doing some self-teaching and realized how much I actually loved it and then I decided to look for boot camps in the area and Learning Fuse really stood out to me based on my research and seeing a lot of people on like LinkedIn that were in the position that I wanted to be in um, and so I went to an info session and I decided to do it because it was pretty convincing to me. <laughs> <laughs> so how is so how, how do, has learning fuse prepped you for your current position oh yeah absolutely yep <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah pretty much most of the curriculum at learning fuse is obviously geared towards like practical work skills um, and i think the curriculum does a really good job of preparing students for the kind of tools that they'll be using on a daily basis um, there are obviously some things that I, wa I wasn't familiar with, but in terms of like actual programming, it like did a fantastic job. Nice. What are some tips you would, um, that you have about the job search process? I think just like staying persistent, you know what I mean? I, throughout my job search, you know, there were, there were highs and lows and, I think when you're going through an interview process, it's hard to not get too invested in an opportunity because if you get super excited about something, you know, sometimes you might be a perfect fit, but it just doesn't work out. So I think just like having that state of mind to know that if you keep working and you keep applying and you keep studying and, and you're passionate about it, eventually something, it like pretty much has to happen, you know? <laughs> I think that's a good tip just in general, you know, take notes and remember to keep track of things that happen in interviews and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. as you interview more and more, 
you get much more familiar with um, like the questions that you're going to encounter and like how to actually answer questions and how to not get super flustered in an interview. I think it's definitely like a skill that takes, you know, growing just like any other skill. So if you go into the job search, like right out of the gate, you get a really good interview or something that you're super excited about. Mm -hmm. um, you have to remember that interviewing is definitely a skill that you build. So it'll just get easier over time. That's true. How many interviews would you say you had to um, go through? Um, well, I had like, I can't remember like the exact number off the top of my head, but I'd say there were like six or seven companies that like I got into the interview process with and then like went along like the whole thing you know what I mean sometimes mm -hmm. there were other companies that like in the very beginning I could tell like it probably wasn't going to be like a right fit like they were either looking for somebody who was much more experienced or like it was more sometimes there are like marketing roles that are like um, advertised as web development oh really wait what <laughs> yeah when I got into an interview one time and um they were looking for somebody who was like much more heavily um skilled in like the marketing aspect of web development mm -hmm. like knowing a lot about seo oh uh, and stuff like that um which is obviously a great skill to have but um it's another skill that you kind of have to build <laughs> yeah nice so then what have you been up to since quarantine like be like before your job so like like last week and everything before that well i was doing a part-time job for a company called shift based in Long Beach. So I was trying to stay, stay occupied with all the programming all the time, um, mm -hmm. trying to learn new things. Um, I was getting into like React Native. I was trying to dabble. I was trying to like read books about computer science and stuff like that. Um, yeah. What about you? What did I do? I've been playing a lot of League. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Besides work, I've nice. been playing a lot of League, um, but then also um, because of with, uh, you know how I do the events, right, for the students, yeah. so I've been trying to be pretty creative, but then I also get help from the students too, so like Judy, she's, she graduated in, Jan well, she's part of the January cohort, so she graduated in March, and mm -hmm. we've been doing um, Saturday afternoon teas. So we've been playing, um, last week we played Among Us, but we've been playing Jackbox too. So do you remember, um, get to know your cohort neighbors? Yeah. We play the games. Yeah. So we play Jackbox with them now. <laughs> nice. Oh, because that's awesome. Because our April cohort started remote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. So Jackbox, um, Among Us is pretty fun. Um, and actually May 4th is coming up, so my, because it's Zoom, right? So one of the activities yeah. I was just gonna have them do is just, um, I, have, I made a folder, like a Google Drive folder, where they can drop mm -hmm. in like Star Wars related Zoom backgrounds <laughs> that they can nice. use for that day. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you guys have been definitely getting really creative about it. I, I like doing the Jeopardy during job during the job search. Oh. Um, but thankfully, though, like I was saying in the very beginning, that like I think the field of software development is like really um, there's like a lot of job stability in that like you can get a job in like any domain really. Right. So there's a bunch of companies that are killing it right now, like Zoom and like Instacart stuff like that and there's a lot of people who are going to be trying to take um advantage of the opportunity mm -hmm. um so a lot of new businesses are going to be coming up and also existing businesses are taking the time where maybe they don't have urgent um they don't need to present urgent solutions to to their clients because their clients don't have clients you know what i mean yes. so they can take that time to develop that's so, true yeah, yeah i feel like this like because we get a lot of students or potential students who ask like oh like how's the job market you know mm -hmm. but then it's like you know it's still people are still hiring <laughs> especially for tech positions because it's pretty much needed more than ever right yeah so many people are getting hired right now i mean 
don't give up. <laughs> right. Honestly. Yeah. That's true. Thanks again for tuning in to Life, Life Updates, Updates with Cass. <laughs> yeah.